Hi everyone, this is Carolina, Crafty Caro here at Split Coast. And today I'm going to be showing you how to put this gift card holder. It's basically a gift card holder in shape of a, a beanie hat. And it swivels open to reveal a gift card behind it. I've also used it um, to put money, but I prefer to get gift cards during the holidays. So that's what I'll be showing you today. The pattern paper I'm using here is from Cosmo Cricut. It's from their Mitten Weather Paper Pad. And you can pretty much use anything you want. I just thought this was going to be a fun pattern to show you today. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a five inch circle. I cut it out with my circle scissors plus, but you can go ahead and use whatever you want. They'll cut out a circle and you want it to be, a, I would say five inches is the best thing because it hides the gift card behind it pretty well. Then I'm going to go ahead and just cut it down the middle. So you end up with two and a half inch sides and that will become your front and back of your beanie hat. Okay, so go ahead and just, at this point actually you don't need your paper cutter anymore so you can put it away. And I'm gonna decide what my front side and my back side is. Right now I'll work on the front of the beanie. You can do several things. You can leave it solid as such. You can run it through your Big Shot or Cuddle Bug with some embossing folders, or you can use pattern paper. And that's what I decided to do today. Use some liquid adhesive and just um, adhere it right on top. Let me remove this part of it so that you end up with, because the back you won't really see, so just the front. So that's the front of your beanie hat. Then you're going to go ahead and work on the back. And that's where you're going you to basically create a pocket with some strips. I use for the solid cardstock 5 and 1 8 by 1 and 5 8. The pattern paper is 5 and 1 8 by 7 8. Started first with go, um, using my edger punch from Stamping Up. You can use any edger punch you want. I know Martha Stewart has a bunch out right now. That'll be fun. I've just been using this one. I like the little scallop edge to it. So really your preference, It whatever you kind of edge you want to um, give your beanie hat at the bottom, totally up to you. Okay, so once you finish punching that out, you're going to go ahead and grab some, actually let's go ahead and do some dashes to just give it a little more color, um, just a little more pattern to it. So I just took my white gel pen and I'm going to just do dashes all the way around that solid cardstock. You could actually also emboss this if you want, but I just thought that little white gel pen also kind of reminds me of snow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just going to do a few here. I've actually went ahead and started, went all the way around and here's the finished one already just so to make it a little quicker for you on the uh, so you're watching the video and i'm going to go ahead and just grab my half inch um, double-sided tape and put a strip all the way down um piece of uh of uh, pattern paper here so put that down the middle. It's fine, it'll hold just perfectly because as you remember, the part that's actually swiveling back and forth is the top of the beanie, not so much this edge. This is just to give it a little more of a decorative um, effect to the bottom of it. Okay, and then just align it to the top or the bottom of that piece down the middle and then just adhere it down. Then you're going to go ahead and turn it over and grab a, uh, another strip of uh, double-sided tape. This time you're going to use a 1 4 inch double-sided tape. You could probably go a little thinner if you'd like. I just like the way this holds um, the back of the beanie. So put it as close to the scallop edge as possible so that you have enough room to um, put your gift card in and bring out what you're going to um once you remove the tape what you're going to use is the one that you didn't decorate so your solid piece okay so it's completely solid no pattern paper at all and you're just going to put it right on top of that tape again as close to the scallop edge as possible and just adhere it down okay Next thing you'd want to do is go ahead, oh, let me see, let me show you. So this is how it looks pretty much all done. This is what your pocket, that's your little pocket that you'll put your gift card in. Now we're going to work on the top of the beanie. And I want to show you how that fits in and how we're going to attach it. So basically it'll go in between the strip 
and the back um, of the beanie and I'm just kind of centering it here I'll turn it around and show you and center it a little bit better you see notice they don't completely align which is what you what you want exactly you want it to, the top to be a little bit higher see that's where I'm showing you how to center it and now you're going to use your crop a dial now it's important that you only um, use the crop a dial I'm using the small I think it's a one fourth of an inch um, hole just through the strip Oh, and I use this little teeth right there to kind of just uh, help me along and know where to punch. So just through the strip and the circle as such and punch. And what you're going to do in there is set an eyelet. Um, and that's why I love using the crop dial because not only does it punch the holes for me, but it sets it. And it's great when you're working late at night because then there's no noise. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just put a, head, put a little eyelet in there and then just set it. And this is basically what gives you the ability to swivel the top of your beanie up and down. Isn't that cool? Love it. Okay, so now we're done. Now we're gonna go, now we put a strip there. I personally don't like that eyelet showing. I kind of just like the effect of it, you know, the, what it actually does. So I went ahead and put some ribbon, uh, made a bow out of this uh, nice, pretty um, ribbon and put some double-sided tape. I'm also gonna put a little bit of double-sided tape on top of the eyelet. Again, you're working with a 3D item. It's gonna to be touched a lot, especially with this one. People wanna swivel it up and down. So just for reinforcement, just put another little piece there. And then that hides that eyelet. I mean, you could leave it if you want. I, I just kinda of like to give it a little something extra to it. So there you go. That's pretty much it and we're almost done if believe it or not I told you it goes quite quick next I use the eye top um, paper punch to do the little um, pom pom thing on top and I needed a rhinestone as well as my crop -a dial if you don't have this paper punch you could always just get a, you know a circle punch cut it out and then just do little snips um, all the way around the circle the cool thing with this punch it just does it for you and then I went ahead and folded it in half and then in half again and it just kind of gave me that shape you could also use ribbon you could also use you know like I said a circle whatever you'd like just something that kind of gives you the effect of the little pom-pom and then use a crop a dial and punch a hole a little bit uh, about a little bit below the middle and that's where your rhinestone brad is going to go through again you can choose it you know if you don't have rhinestone brad you can use any other brad you have on hand and what we're going to do is make sure when you do this, you open it or even better, turn it around so that you know that you're only punching through the top of um, your beanie as well as right in down the middle, as I'm going to do here. Just going to move it up a little bit and just punch, make a hole, align it so that you feel like it's right in the middle of your beanie hat. And that's where your little brad, or your rhinestone brad is going to go through to hold your little pompon and with that you're done pretty much all we need to do now is add and I'm just kind of separating the little um, tabs here to give it even more of a little whimsical look and just want to open it up and we're going to go ahead and get our gift card and open it up one more time and just go ahead and place it inside now you're going to tuck it in till you kind of feel you know so it's kind of it's kind of snug in there and you'll feel when you're coming to you know the bottom and then that's pretty much it you're ready to gift these away make an assembly line out of them and you'll have so much fun you can find more a written tutorial and other stuff over at split Coast at the website listed here thanks